Coming up on this edition of Inside the Tribe, you'll get an inside look at all things buyout week. Plus, you'll get a glimpse at how cool your EP teachers are as they play along with some of our April Fool's Day pranks. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Now, from the Raider Nation, and voted one of the best in the Midwest, this is East Peoria's own Inside the Tribe. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Katie Rinkin. And I'm Gabe Hackney. Attention all freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. On Wednesday, April 13th, we will have the state-mandated SAT assessment. We will not have late start on that day. School will begin at 7.50 and attendance is mandatory. Buses will run at the normal time. Again, this is not a late start day. Students will be dismissed at 1 o'clock on this day. More information will be available closer to the testing day. Seniors, you do not have school and are encouraged to do college visits, job shadow, or work that day. Juniors, taking the SAT test is a graduation requirement, so if you don't test this year, you will be forced to test next year before you are allowed to graduate. If you have any questions, please email your counselor. Congratulations to Bailey Lush, who is April's Student of the Month. Bailey was nominated by Coach Johns for being involved in sports and extracurriculars being diligent with her academics, and always giving 150% in every class. Coach Johns also said that Bailey is very teachable, coachable, and accountable. Congratulations to the 2022 EPCHS National Honor Society officers, President Emma Nunnery, Vice President Lizzie Royger, Secretary Maggie Cowan, Treasurer Michelle Eunice. Interested in trying out for the Raiderettes? If so, pick up a tryout packet from Coach Zachman in 208E. All paperwork is due April 6th. Clinics are April 6th and 7th from 3 to 5 in the main gym, and tryouts are April 8th, starting at 3.30 in the main gym. Book Club is selling coffee every morning in the library for $1. If you need a pick-me-up in the morning, this is a great way to wake up and to support the EP Book Club. College Board is offering a free webinar for students of color called Real Talk. The event will be highlighting the importance of selecting challenging coursework and the role that coursework can play in advancing their college and career goals. If you are interested in getting the link to enroll, please email Mrs. Laredo at laredo at ep309.org. Any student who needs a ride to Eastside or ICC for practice, there will be a bus leaving from the main entrance after school. The bus usually departs around 3.30. Illinois Central College is hosting a spring open house from 4 to 7 p.m. on April 5th at the East Peoria campus. You can explore over 150 programs of study, learn about scholarships and financial aid, and meet with ICC staff. Interested students should register at icc.edu slash open house. EPCHS refillable insulated water bottles are still for sale. You can purchase them from Hope Club for only $10. See Mr. Hobbs in room 235B. There are various lost items in the nurse's office, such as glasses and a retainer. If any of these items belong to you, please go to the health services to claim them. Hey guys, G-Man's back. I'm currently at my desk right now, and it's nighttime, so I wanna do my weather report here and a night version of the weekly Raider weather report, and I am finally back. So, tonight's forecast will be a low of 37 degrees with cloudy weather. Tuesday will be a high of 57 degrees to a low of 37 degrees with a 40% chance of rain. Wednesday will be a high of 57 degrees to a low of 37 degrees with an 80% chance of rain. Thursday will be a high of 46 degrees to a low of 37 degrees with a 40% chance of rain. And Friday will be a high of 45 degrees to a low of 37 degrees with cloudy weather. So, everybody, stay safe, stay strong, have a great rare day, have a great pizza day, and I'll see you all later. Before break on March 17th, the softball team won 4-1 against the reigning 1A state champion, Illini Bluffs. Great job, ladies. On Wednesday, March 16th, and Saturday, March 19th, the girls track team had a good showing at the Illinois Wesleyan Tournament. 
Sophomore Kerrigan Vandal took second in the 400 meter and fifth in the 800 meter. Junior Bella Buz took sixth in the long jump, and freshman Todd Chiana Jones took second in the JV 60 meter. Great job, ladies. The JV boys tennis team defeated Lincoln 2-1 to on, on Monday, March 28th, with wins from Keller Paulson and Jose Del Toro at number two doubles, and Steven Preciado and even Keller at number three doubles. Congratulations. Congratulations to the boys' baseball team who won against Galesburg on mon Monday, March 28th. And also congratulations to Gabe Ziegler-Harris for hitting his first home run of the season. This concludes this week's Raider Report. I'm Brooklyn Arrington. And I'm Anthony Slato. But before we go, let's take a look at our EP band as they marched at Disney World's Magic Kingdom over spring break. I'm here with Ellie Beck, Student Council President, and Kelsey Griffin, Student Council Vice President. And next week is Buyout Week. So Ellie, what is Buyout Week and why is it important? Buyout Week is a fundraising week that we do for St. Jude every year, but sadly the last time we were actually able to do it was our freshman year. Um, there's Spirit Days every day, and then we're going to have breakfast items for sale Monday through Thursday for $2, and then the actual buyout of school is on Friday. Perfect. And Kelsey, what are the spirit days and some of the activities? So Monday is pajama day, Tuesday is superhero day, Wednesday is mismatch day, Thursday is decade day, Friday is St. Jude color day, so each class will wear a different color. So the freshmen are gray, sophomores are red, juniors are white, and seniors are black. And some of the activities are tie-dye with Miss Beecham, watching movies, doing an escape room with Mr. Stanley, and many more. Perfect. And how much does it cost? It costs five dollars to buy out. And what do you do if you don't buy out, Kelsey? If you don't buy out, then you have to sit in the study hall room, which is super boring all day. So give your money to St. Jude. Perfect. Thank you. This next segment of Inside the Tribe is brought to you by Miss Lionel Students Four. I was wondering if you could help me on. Alex? Don't call me Alex. <laughs> April Fool's. Oh. oh my gosh, Hannah, guess what? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, Danae. What? How are you? You know. How are you? I'm good. What? <laughs> what does she want from me? So when's your next softball game? Saturday. Saturday? So, why is she calling me that? <laughs> it's for inside the time. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, hey Kelly. Hey. I just wanted to say hi. I miss you. Been in your class. Yeah. Are you recording me for something? Yeah. <laughs> hi, Tom. Uh, how are you? What's How are this? you? What's this? 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 What's
This is a prank. <laughs> hey, Joe, are we going to do an assignment in math today? Did you just say you're in Yeah. What? <laughs> so, how are your chihuahuas? I'm not going to answer that. I don't answer that. Don't dance? No. Don't Coach or Mr. Johns? Phil Johns. Phil the court. I saw that video. What are you doing? Get out of here. I gotta teach a lot. Hi. Okay. Hello. Hi, Marty. How are you? You can call me that when you're crying. Okay. Hey, hey Josh, what time do we have to do the uh, field today for the game? Yeah. 345. 345. Are you doing the TikTok thing where you're calling teachers by the name Griffin? No. It's Brandon's at the time. It is? Mm -hmm. Are you recording? Yep. <laughs> I called it. <laughs>